energy stored in a capacitor? Energy stored in a capacitor. What is the capacitor? The device which stores electrical energy is called capacitor. What is the amount of energy stored in the capacitor? Now, let us consider. Already we know that potential V is equal to W by Q. W is equal to what to say? V into Q. Right? Now, there is a conductor. This is the conductor. This is the conductor. Right? Or let us consider this is the capacitor. Now, this is the capacitor. This is the capacitor. Right? Now, the second plate is said to be earthed. This capacitor stores the energy. First of all, for this capacitor, I want to supply a minimum amount of the charge. For the capacitor, I want to give the minimum amount of the charge. Now, here in this case, without changing the potential, without changing the potential, I am supplying a minimum amount of the charge dq. What is the work done? Work done is also very small that is represented by dw. Therefore, already capacitor is there. No doubt. Maybe empty capacitor, maybe partially filled capacitor. Let us consider for a capacitor, I want to give a little amount of the charge. For understanding purpose, this is the, what to say, capacitor. I want to give the little amount of the charge. Whenever I give the little amount of the charge, dq, here, right? In storing the little amount of the charge, dq, what is the work done? According to the formula, V is equal to W by Q, W is equal to VQ. For an infinitesimal charge, DQ is supplied at the constant potential, the work done, that is TW. But, I want to store the charge. Right? For a small amount of the charge, DQ, what is the work done? DW is equal to V into DQ. Right? To store the charge Q, to store the charge Q, right, the what is the total work done? In storing the charge Q, right, there is a total work done. The total work done can be calculated by integrating the above equation. On integrating, on integrating, therefore dW is equal to V into dQ. Right, on integrating, this is the integration. Already we know that integration of dx is equal to x, integration of dy is equal to y, integration of dw is equal to that is dw. Therefore, integration of dw gives the total work done in storing the charge w is equal to integration. What is v dq? Already that is c is equal to what to say q by v. Therefore, v is equal to q by c into what do you say dq right therefore what is the value of v v is equal to q by c into dq here in this case w is equal to c is the capacity which is constant 1 by c which is moving out therefore integration of q into dq now integration of x dx is equal to x square by 2 integration of y dy is y square by 2. Integration of q dq is equal to w is equal to 1 by c into therefore q square by 2. Therefore, the total work done is equal to q square by 2c. 
now this work done in storing the charge q in the capacitor of capacity c what is the total work done this is the work done this total work done is stored in the form of potential energy therefore u is equals to what to say q square by 2c u is equals to q square by 2c now as u is equals to q square by 2c as u is equals to q square by 2c right c is equals to q by v c is equals to q by v therefore but q is equals to but c is equals to q by v in cross multiplication q is equals to cv q is equals to cv therefore u is equals to q is equals to cv right whole square by 2c therefore u is equals to c square v square by 2c therefore cc gets cancelled u is equals to that is 1 by 2 c v square 1 by 2 c v square now next one right but uh, right v is equals to q by c v is equals to q by c v is equals to q by c or otherwise c is equals to q by v u is equals to 1 by 2 right c c is equals to what to say q by v into v square therefore u is equals to 1 by 2 that is v v gets cancelled what to say q v by 2 q v by 2 therefore u is equals to what to say q v by 2 therefore what is the potential energy stored what are the formula for potential energy stored in a capacitor therefore u is equals to q square by 2 c that equals to half c v square and uh, what to say is equals to q v by 2 now here in this case if charge remains constant if the charge remains constant if q remains constant if q remains constant if q remains constant u is equals to q square by 2c right q remains constant u is inversely proportional to c u is inversely proportional to c u1 by u2 is equals to u1 by u2 is equals to c2 by c1 right next if v remains constant v remain constant if v remains constant therefore what to say u is equals to half c v square as the potential remains constant u is directly proportional to c therefore u1 by u2 is equals to c1 by c2 now here in this case u is inversely proportional to c u is directly proportional to c as long as the charge remains constant capacitance is increased by k times potential energy is decreased by k times as long as the v remains constant the potential capacitance is increased by k times energy is also increased by k times now as long as the charge remains constant right potential energy is inversely proportional to capacity suppose now introducing the dielectric plate on introducing the dielectric plate capacity is increased by k times as the capacity is increased by k times then potential energy is decreased by k times when the char when the potential remains constant when the potential remains constant u is directly proportional to c potential energy is directly proportional to c suppose again the dielectric slab is introduced when the dielectric slab is introduced then capacity is increased by k times potential energy is increased by k times here u is inversely proportional to c here u is directly proportional to c therefore these are the expressions for potential energy